Coinbase stock is still one of the most undervalued plays on the market. And are we in the middle of a proof of work renaissance, guys? Today, we got a lot to talk about. But first, we're going to be talking about the Coinbase stock. You guys know I've been pounding the drums, banging the drums on this on Twitter, on TikTok, and here on YouTube as well. And Coinbase stock continues to move up. Currently, it's sitting at $120, and it's broken out. It's at the highest point it's been since about... April of May of 2022 and it's really looking like it's going to eventually push up to that you know probably that $150 level as you can see right there there's not really you know any resistance for you know the Coinbase stock and this is still one of the most undervalued plays I'm going to quickly briefly you know go over a couple of the main narratives and I'm going to continue to do this because I genuinely believe not financial advice you're in research that this thing could easily go to a thousand dollars plus at the top of the bull market very very so now let's first take a look at the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin right now is hanging around $37,000. Just been trading in this range for a little while. Let's take a look at the stock market. The stock market, as you can see here, it is once again approaching that local high up here at almost 4600 4, And the dollar has been dumping as well, which is, of course, bullish for the markets. Now let's take a look at, you know, a couple of the main narratives. Once again, I've been pounding the drums on this, and I'm going to continue to do this Um in a lot of videos because every single time coinbase pumps this is going to be the one of the easiest plays of the bull market not financial advice and here's why first of all layer two base base is an upcoming layer two and i believe it's going to be the binance smart chain of the next cycle without the baggage okay and it's also working with optimism it's helping scale ethereum as it says here base is a secure low cost builder friendly ethereum l2 built to bring the next billion users on chain. And this is going to drive a ton of more liquidity and money to the Coinbase ecosystem. Very, very bullish. Now let's take a look at the Coinbase. You know, how much cash do they have? They have $5 billion, almost $6 billion worth of cash. Let's take a look at their NAV. Let's take a look at the net assets. Oh, they have almost $6 billion worth of assets. This company has cash. And once again, because they are a publicly traded company, Everything they do has to be very transparent. They cannot do the FTX or, you know, Binance bullshit where they're able to do all this crazy shit behind the scenes. They can't do that because they are a publicly traded company. They have to report all their financial stuff and all that stuff. There's no garbage that can come out of Coinbase because they're publicly traded, which is one of the best parts about it. And also, take a look at this. I'm sure you guys have heard me say this, but if you're new here, Coinbase is going to be... When BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF gets approved, when Fidelity spot Bitcoin ETF gets approved, when the ARK spot Bitcoin ETF gets approved, Coinbase is going to be holding their Bitcoin. This also applies for the Ethereum spot ETF, which I don't think is going to be approved anytime soon, but we know BlackRock applied for it. But BlackRock is working with Coinbase, and we know that BlackRock is going to make sure that they get their way. So if you're bullish on BlackRock, and BlackRock pretty much, you know, they own, what, $14 trillion of assets under management eight trillion dollars something crazy like that and they're working with coinbase and also coinbase has a stake in usdc so as it says here coinbase gets a stake in stablecoin operator circle and usdc adds six new blockchains guys and on top of that coinbase is also the second largest exchange in the world this is probably one of the easiest most undervalued plays in crypto i don't even like it's so fucking easy. And I've been talking about this shit since it's been at like 50 bucks back in 2022. I've continued to talk about it. And what this is going to look like, as I said it before, it's going to be a hockey stick chart. It launched back in 2020, 2021 in the bull market. It came down at the bear market and this thing's going to go up. It's going to look like a hockey stick. I'm very bullish on Coinbase stock. I think it's really one of the most conservative plays that has the most upside. I think you can get a lot out of this, and I still think it's a super unrisky play, in my opinion. If you're bullish on crypto, you should be bullish on Coinbase stock. It's a no-brainer. But now let's talk about the proof, the possible proof of work renaissance. Now, disclaimer, before I get into this, this thing right now is like a $10 million market cap, and I put out a tweet. It's this coin called Lila, aka Liquid Layer, and I said, just bought into Lila Liquid Layer. I put this out last night. Could go to the moon or could go to zero. Interested to see what happens. Guys, this thing could end up being an ultimate rug pull or it could do 100x. I don't fucking know, but we're going to be covering it today because there's a lot of people talking about it. So what is this thing? It's liquid layer. And as it says in their bio, it's when proof of work meets scalability and liquid liquidity optimization. I don't think the team is doxxed, which is pretty sus, but like it's the new hottest Ponzi on the block and, you know, we're here to make money. And we if we can make money off this shit coin, then we're going to, you know, do, we're going to hop in. Right now, as you can see, it has a market cap of about $10 million. It's sitting around $1.54. 
you know, in the past, it got listed on CoinMarketCap just a couple of days ago on, you know, the day after Thanksgiving, it was about at 60 cents and it's since over doubled since then. It's right now, as it says on CoinMarketCap, up 144% all time in the past week, you know, well, it's only, it's been out for less than a fucking week. It's been out for like three days or at least been listed on CoinMarketCap for, you know, less than three days. And let's take a look about the about of Liquid Layer. Liquid Layer is a highly scalable proof of work blockchain with integrated liquid staking derivative bridge. Lila is the native utility token that are used for gas fees, staking rewards, governance, collateral, and DeFi, and DAP interaction. Currently, there's a max supply of 10 million Lila, and the total supply is 10 million Lila. Um, the circulating supply that is self reported is 6.5 million Lila. There's a lot of risk when it comes to this. This is a low cap, okay? Let me make that very clear. This thing could go to fucking zero and these guys could completely rug this thing. But what they're saying, the main narrative behind it is that it's the next CASPA. So you don't know what CASPA is. You probably heard about it. But it is a proof of work chain also. And it's up 70,000%, almost 70,000% since 2022. And this is kind of an interesting chart because it's like, how the fuck is this thing continuing to pump throughout the bull market? Some interesting tokenomics, some interesting ways they structured it. But people made life-changing gains. I mean, whoever is buying bags down here is rich forever. And we're here to get rich forever. So yeah, there's a bit of, you know, Ponzi-nomics to all this, but bro, it's fucking crypto. Everything's a Ponzi. Wall Street's a Ponzi. The world's a Ponzi. So get on with it. And that's kind of the narrative. You know, they're trying to say, oh, Leela could be the next Caspa. Now, is it the next Caspa? I don't fucking know. And there's a lot of influencers talking about Leela. The way, you know, I got into Leela was because influencers are talking about it. Take a look at this. Pablo Hammond, one of the you know biggest crypto influencers, made a video on this coin today saying amazing coin that could can go 100x that has already done 10x, but can it keep going? Um, I think it's very possible it could do 100x. It could, you know, maybe it could go to fucking zero. But a lot of people are talking about this, and at the end of the day, people are interested in it. So yeah, but let's take a look at the website. The future of proof of work is now. Liquid Layer is a highly scalable proof of work blockchain with integrated liquid staking derivative bridge. And as you know, it has the buy Lila right here, which is pretty interesting. You know, some people are like, oh, if it has buy the coin on the website, it means it's an automatic scam. But once again, I don't really care if it's a scam or if it's a Ponzi or whatever. This is a kind of a low cap shit coin. When you buy into this, you are saying to yourself, or at least you should be saying, hey, if I lose all my money, I'm cool with it. Do not put your entire net worth into this thing. This is basically gambling. It's a fucking casino, okay? It's a low liquidity coin. It's gambling. So I don't really, you know, I think they've done a good job marketing it. As he says, testnet, let's take a look what they got. So testnet details. I don't even think this thing has actually launched anyways. Um, if we go to mainnet, yeah, they don't even have a mainnet yet. <laughs> Pretty fucking hilarious. But if we go to about here, when proof of work meets scalability with LSD, bridge and earn, that's kind of interesting. Liquid layer advances proof of work blockchains with EVM compatibility. Oh, that's pretty interesting. EVM compatibility and trilemma solutions. It's unique LSD bridge transfers funds from Ethereum, leveraging DeFi instead of merely locking assets, enabling users to earn APY and bridges assets. So that's pretty cool. And it says unlocking the trilemma solutions. And this is the same thing that I think Caspa said. If I'm not wrong, if we go to the about for Caspa. Because um, I'm pretty sure they said they saw the trilemma as well. Let me let me go to the Casper website. If I'm not wrong, did they not say that on their website as well? Yeah. <laughs> so they say the same thing on the Casper website. They're solving the trilemma and the trilemma is scalability, decentralization, and that it's secure. So they're saying the same thing. This is basically, you know, people are saying there's like, there's a bunch of new proof of work, like shit coins that are just spinning up out of nowhere. And people were saying this is the next big one. Could it be? You know, it might at the end of the day. Um, it could do really well. I have, you know, I have a stake in it. I have a little bit. I put a couple hundred dollars in it. Not much, you know. Okay, I'm saying not much, but like, I don't know. Whatever is, you know, never mind. But you know what I'm saying. You know, I put in a little bit. It's money I'm comfortable losing. If this thing goes to zero, it goes to zero. I think it's going to run though. I'm already up on my position, but... Yeah, I think there's a lot of interesting opportunities that are going to come up. My personal position is I normally don't do things like this, but I know that influencers are going to be starting to talk about it, etc. So I'm like, why not hop in? You know, let's have a little fun. You know, I think it's like good to have your long term bags. Like my long term bags are like Solana, long term meaning like sell in 2025, like Solana, you know, Coinbase. I have some Riot. But you also want to have a little fun, you know, 
have a little fun, do some DJ gambling. But yeah, of course, all this is not financial advice and you need to be doing your own research. But yeah, guys, that's all we got for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. We're posting daily videos here. And also go follow me on Twitter, link in the description. Go join my free private group, link in the description as well. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching.